Riff time again. I've got some more bits for me, uh, Riff, Crawler, my project that I'm building up. I've, uh, I think since the last time I did a video, I put the Stinger bumper on the front. Um, and I've just fitted these Proline XLs. Got them nicely weighted. I've got slightly more weight up the rear in this for a reason because the bumper up front weighs so much. Um, once the battery's up front and the winch on and everything else, it's all extra weight up front, and there is a lot, a lot of weight up the front of this. So obviously, we're coming down stuff, the back end's just going to kick out. So I've actually weighted the rears slightly more on this. Um, Main point of the video is Shapeways It's a website regarding 3D printing and through there you can find some absolutely fantastic stuff for the RCs Now I've ordered this from um, Scorch Parts and it's basically a fastback conversion with the radiator which I need to paint up um, and that's to go here on the back to brace this and stiffen all this up and then that should hopefully allow me to um, chop out some more of the rear of the cage um, GPM have also kindly sent me some more products some bits for the Wraith in the uh, new batch of stuff they sent me things for the 114th Tamaya trucks I don't know if you can see my grand order in the background um, it's a custom Kenworth I'm building and yeah they sponsor me to do a lot of stuff so they keep sending me bits and bats and they sent me the knuckle kit and some rear lockouts and chubs for the Wraith which then gave me the idea I'll probably pop them on my other Wraith which I use for trailing and when I upgrade the front which we'll do this in another video I'm going to do the um, fast back in this but when I come to replacing the front sea ups and knuckles and everything uh, the stock ones I'll transplant to the rear and then we can look at getting this set up for four wheel steering so that's somewhat fun so for now let's take a look at um, the fast back conversion from shapeways and um, scorch parts on shapeways a few of us met up earlier to go trailing, had a lovely day, lovely afternoon out trailing on the trails, um, managed to get the roof cut on my Kenworth. Here's the radiator, you have to um, paint this up yourself and that's been 3D printed. So that'll look good once we get it sprayed silver and then some black detailing on the fans and things like that. Um, that will screw onto this, which is the actual fastback conversion strut. Now they do two types of these. There's one where it's literally just the end struts, so you can put them into place, or they do this one. Now, I went for this one, not only because it has the radiator and it looks cool, but it just looks like it'll give me a bit more rigidity up the rear of that. When a lot of you guys do your fastback conversion and things like that, if you're using the links, a lot of you guys you'll realise that you have to cut a few mil off this inner support so you can sit the links inside. Well, this one from Scorch Parts, that eliminates any need for cutting. And basically, all you need to do is like I've done here, and that's just cut off all the joints to the rear of the cage, and that's it. I still need to clean this up, but um, these will just slot over there and over there, so no need for any additional cutting, and this should be a perfect fit. So. Alright, so that's them unscrewed. Basically, that one, this one and them two from that one have been taken out so I'll just let you have a little look at this in more detail
Now the radiator, that'll just zoom in, slot up in there. And then those will just screw onto their light so. And then one's in place. So pretty simple. Just gonna loop that one onto there. And just bend this one. Just tuck that one into there. Same again, that just pushes onto there like so. Now rather than bending your um, 3D printed part, bend the cage part of the roof to tuck this in there. It's going to make it easier as your cage is more flexible. So if we just lift that up in the middle, try and tuck that down. There we go. We'll just uh, push all this back into place there. Now it's got like a flopped finish. I kind of want that on the dashboard in my car. Kind of like that look. So now it's looking like so. So now the question is, do I really want to chop off the rear? Of course I do. Most of them I see are like that anyway with the fastback conversions. I just want to build something different so I'm just going to go and get a razor saw and we can do some chopping. One razor saw. So it's Stiffened up the back a hell of a lot, which has made me confident to cut this now because it's quite a flimsy cage. So I were a bit worried if I put this on, if I'm still going to have the flimsiness. But I'm happy with how rigid it is. I've not screwed it all in proper at the minute, they're just in place because this will have to come off to be repainted. So I don't want to keep screwing in and out of all the holes, or oh, they'll be now left. Um, I might get some alley ones of these, these shock mounts and this brace, just then I know it is a bit more rigid up there, but no I'm happy to proceed and chop again now, so I'm just debating do I chop there and then maybe put that bar back along there just to brace it a bit more and cut that off the other part that I took out I'll just chop it down here in the corner I'll possibly just cut to here for the meantime and we're going to take a cut down there so really I need to take all this back out this is the fun part of the hobby now making stuff your own and just chopping stuff up and whatever will be will be kind of thing okay, it's still pretty stiff up there if we lose this yeah, it's still rigid happy with that Right, well, let's not hesitate, let's just get it done. That's one off, that'll just need a little buff down just to smooth that out. Um, other side. kind of see the potential how it's looking now still firm <laughs> now my biggest worry is I'm gonna lose a lot of this um, rigidity up here but when you push this way there's still a little bit of flex 
So it might not be a bad idea to go with the um, Ali rear brace here, suspension mount thingy me bobber. So yeah, the bits I've just cut out here, we'll put a link rod, some form of brace in there, just so that it's got the whole back end still a little bit stiffer. But as far as the look, that is what I wanted. A bit different from your usual riff. So yeah, really um, suited with that. I'm glad I chopped it up. So yeah, it's looking pretty badass now. I absolutely love that look. And then the big stinger up the front. So that's the fastback conversion from uh, Scorch Parts on Shapeways. And for £30 shipped, that was to the UK. I don't know what it'll be for the US or wherever. But it just changes the look dramatically and it looks fantastic. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe and if you want to see more, hit that notification bell then you don't miss future videos. Uh, if Tamaya 114 semi trucks interest you, that's my main thing that I have on this channel. Um, so yeah, for now, just have fun with your RCs, have fun on the trails, have fun building and just have fun RCing. Take care guys.